Bob WHB. I'm Jackson. And I'm Dane. Today is Cinco de Mayo. Mayo. That's oh. the 5th of May for our non-Spanish speaking viewers. May 1st was National Decision Day. Yeah, congrats on Santa Clara, Jackson. Thanks, homeboy. Congrats on Roger Williams. Thank you. Let's check out where the rest of West Hampton's headed after high school. Let's check out what the class of 2017 will be up to next year. University of South Carolina. Salisbury University. Cortland. Marist College. University of Alabama. University of Tampa. Loyola University. Marist College. Florida Southern College. SUNY Geneseo. Case Western Reserve University. Clemson University. Boston University. Cortland. Santa Clara University. Binghamton University. University of New Hampshire. Eckerd College. Hofstra University. The Tallahassee Community College. Springfield College. SUNY Cortland. SUNY Plattsburgh. Kent State University. Roger Williams University. Rutgers University. The University of Tampa. The Ohio State University. The University of Rhode Island. The University of South Carolina. The University of Florida. The University of Maryland. U.S. Air Force. High Point University. Home of the Panthers. Roar. Last week, the girls track team traveled to UPenn to compete in the Penn Relays. It's the oldest and largest track and field competition in the United States. The 4x400 team of Jenny Jordan, Kayla Berman, Julia Smith, and Mae Murphy came in first place in their heat. So they're headed to nationals. Here's more from Juliet. April 29th, nine girls from the WHB girls track team traveled to the University of Pennsylvania to compete in the annual Penn Relays. Being qualified to run at Penn Relays is a huge opportunity and great accomplishment. Besides running, the team also enjoyed great food, smoothies, and a Nike store that had special Penn Relay merchandise. Along with the 4x4 team, Serena Choi competed in the jumping events, and Carly Trainer, Grace Kozowski, Katie Kelly, and Julia Clark ran in the 4x1. What event do you run? We run the 4x4. <laughs> Today we beat our season record and ran a 358. Who's the fastest? I am. Brennan, you're considered playing baseball? Yeah, Jakey. Baseball is the bestest. Yeah, you should have joined the team. Maybe next year. Let's check out the team for this season. The varsity baseball team is on track to make playoffs for the fifth year in a row now. The Canes are a senior heavy team led by captains Jake Vieira, Ben Osborne, Sam Kaplan, and Ryan Wacker. Other key players are Finbar Smith, Matt Pesci, and Thatcher Ford. Come out and support the boys May 8th and May 10th, which is senior night at 4.30 behind the element. Hablas español? Sí. Sabías que hoy es de mayo. No, señor Tom. Yo no tiene ninguna idea. Que es cinco de mayo, Tommy? Yo no sé. Vamos a aprender más con Lauren, Rachel y Chloe. Adios. Hola, West Hampton. We're here to find out how much WHB really knows about Cinco de Mayo. Vamanos. I'm here with uh, Rocky Vitarelli and uh, how many avocados are consumed on Cinco de Mayo? All together? Just guess. 700,432. Wrong! Er. Mm. 
25. Where's the biggest party on Cinco de Mayo? Senor Frogs. Guatemala. Mexico City. Mexico. But what day is Cinco de Mayo on? May 6th. What is the holiday Cinco de Mayo? There was a, a battle. Who won? The Mexicans. Where is Cinco de Mayo celebrated? Uh, in Mexico and uh, Mexico. <laughs> United States. Mexico. So, Senora Kearns, what is the true meaning of Cinco de Mayo? The true meaning in English, Chloe, as you know, is May 5th. But now, if you want to know why we celebrate that in the United States, um, it really originated from the French that occupied Mexico. So it's a battle in a little town of Mexico called Puebla. The Mexicans won, and the Mexican-Americans, mostly Americans, celebrated. Nice!